Ukrainian-born Oleksiy is 17. When fighting broke out in Ukraine's Donbas region in 2014, an American family from the state of Missouri adopted Oleksiy and his sisters from Donetsk orphanage. He recently returned to the region with his dad to help relieve the pain of Ukrainians who flee to Poland to escape the carnage of the Russian invasion. I'm just uh, here uh, doing my part in helping Ukraine because to me it's, it's my home, my original home. I got adopted when I was 10 and that was right about when the war started, so a couple weeks after we had left. And now I'm just here trying to, you know, actually taking time away from my you know, job from the United States and helping out. He volunteers with World Central Kitchen, an organization that operates at eight border crossing points between Poland and Ukraine, and that began serving hot meals within hours of the initial invasion. Its operations extend to other neighboring nations, including Hungary, Moldova and Romania. Anna Bornstein, who heads World Central Kitchen's relief operations, said hot meals are an essential first response to refugees. Having World Central Kitchen kind of stationed at each moment of that journey as sort of a touch point. They kind of recognize that, that blue flag and know that there's something there waiting for them, um, some comforting meal, something that can be a grounding moment in this really chaotic journey. We'll be here as long as we're needed. That's, that's what we do. We show up immediately. We believe that food is a human right and it is an urgent right. People, when they're hungry and when they're in crisis, they need food now. To maintain supplies of fresh food, World Central Kitchen works with local restaurants, caterers and food trucks. We're here in Poland, so the support and assistance that Poland and the Polish people are providing has been incredible to see. And then we're seeing volunteers from all over the world come here at Medica at this crossing. There's tents, there's organizations, there's medical groups, there's people providing all kinds of services, um, taking time off, traveling from all corners of the, the globe to come work with us and work here to support the people that are coming over the border. This family just crossed the border, having fled from Borodyanka, a bumped out village near Kiev. The rockets hit our village and we did not even know about it because we didn't have connection. Next day I went to the center of the village and discovered it. Noir is Armenian. His family settled in Ukraine when Russia occupied part of Georgia in 2008. Armenian, Georgian and Ukrainian. Fourteen years later, they become refugees in Poland, not knowing where they will sleep next. Nwar and his family are among 1.9 million people who crossed the border to Poland since the war began on February 24th. Poland has mobilized to provide shelter while also giving Ukrainians a right to work and education. Kristina Queen, the acting U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, visited the border checkpoint at Medica. She said that the outpouring of help from private and international organizations has been astonishing. The ambassador underscored America's commitment to Ukraine. The U.N. organizations are now uh, set up and starting to work as well. But until then, the United States has been sending things in both on the humanitarian side and on the security assistance side since day one. Miroslava Gungadze, VOA News, Medica, Poland.